Welcome back guys to your No Malarkey Guide to Programming. This is Kalu Kalu and in this tutorial we're going to make a Django app and if you guys have been following along with me then you understand the Kalu principle of learning a new discipline which is deduct I'm sorry which is inductive reasoning and not deductive reasoning which is bottom up and not top down which is example based and not rule based so with that being said we're going to do many examples we're going to go through from zero to rendering a template how you make a Django app and I want you to repeat these exact same steps before you start asking questions so again repeat these exact same steps from beginning to end and once you do it five six seven times then I want you to start thinking about okay these things that I'm doing what does it mean so with that being said let's get started remember no asking questions do 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 then after you do ask questions so please open up your terminal and let's get started I'm gonna open up my terminal. The first thing I'm gonna do is try to install or go ahead and install virtual ENV. So I'm gonna write pip install virtual ENV. It's gonna tell me that this requirement is already satisfied. If you haven't already downloaded, it would go ahead and download it right now. Afterwards, I'm gonna go ahead and move into my desktop. And in my desktop, I'm gonna create a folder using MKDIR and I'm gonna call it job site. Once I create this folder, we can see it's just been created. I'm going to go ahead and move into this folder using CD. Inside this folder, I'm going to want to make my virtual environment using the command virtual env space dash p. And this dash p just says we want to tell it which Python interpreter to use. If you don't understand what this means, just go ahead. It's all right. It's not that important. So I'm going to choose Python 3. And then we, go, we can write the name of our virtual environment. So we're going to call this job site underscore VENV to stand for virtual environment. We're going to hit enter and our virtual environment is going to start being made. After this is made, we can go ahead and safely pip install Django. The reason we want to, we, the reason we want to uh, use a virtual environment is because we don't want to install many different Python packages in our main computer. We want to isolate where we install Python packages that way they don't conflict with further installations or different versions that we may have in our computer if you don't understand what that means I'm embarrassed that I even said it this is about doing and we explain later so with that being said you've now successfully created this job site VENV we can check that out by doing LS and we can see that we now have in our job site folder another folder called job site VENV so we can now activate our virtual environment by typing source jobs underscore site underscore venv slash bin slash activate and you can see that our virtual environment is now activated now we can safely install django now that our virtual environment is activated we can do pip install django django is going to install once it's finished we can start our first django project using the django django admin command Django admin start project and then we can write the name of the project we're gonna name this project jobs sites and then we're gonna add don't forget this dots this dot just means don't create a new folder called job site just create the files in this folder we are currently in and once we do that we're gonna hit LS to explore what it just did you can see it created this folder called job site in this file called manage.py we're gonna immediately use this manage.py file in we're going to use it with a with a with an argument called start app and then we're going to pass it a second argument and this is going to be the name of the app we want to create it's going to call we're going to call this app jobs app we're going to do it hit ls and immediately see that it that command created this folder called jobs app now that all this is done we're going to open sublime using sbl the sublime command and dot if you don't have it you can just if you don't have that command you can just right click here and do open with in sublime text you may need to find it in other applications but yeah you just want to open the folder and here we see here we see that we have our complete job site directory open in sublime so the first thing we want to do is edit our views.py what is a views.py don't worry about that just copy what I say and you'll be good later on you could go ahead and read the documentation to understand what all this means but for now we just want to write a function called home we're going to pass this function an argument called request. What is a function? You don't need to worry about that. What is an argument? You don't need to worry about that. Just know that they're words, they're important programming. If you just copy this, it works. So once we have this, this uh, part written down, we're going to return 
render, and we're gonna call this render function that we get from Django.shortcuts, and we're gonna pass it a string as an argument that's gonna, no, actually first we're gonna pass it this request object we get from this argument here. And then the second argument we're gonna pass it is a string that is gonna say jobs underscore app forward slash index dot html. And this represents the path of our HTML template that we want Django to render. So we've created this index.html, but it doesn't quite exist. So what we're going to do to get that is I downloaded this HTML template that we're going to use. You can download it. I'll provide a link for you guys to get that at. So once you download it, you can unzip it and get this file. If we open this file, we see it has this index.html. We can go ahead and open it just to see what it looks like. And here is what it looks like. Pretty, pretty cool, pretty cool. And we're going to just copy it and go to the desktop job site jobs app and create a new folder called templates Django expects whoops new folder templates Django expects all of your templates to go inside of your folder called templates inside of your app folder and inside of that folder called templates we're gonna create another folder and again name this jobs app now don't and we're gonna go inside of jobs app don't be confused that it seems redundant we have jobs app templates job apps it makes sense we'll focus about it later inside of this jobs app folder we want to go ahead and paste I did paste right there this index.html file that we got from our template with that being done we want to go back to our sublime and save of course if we didn't already and I want you to do file new and then file save as and we're going to immediately save it as urls.py. Make sure you save this in jobs app. I'm going to say it again. Make sure you save it in jobs underscore app. In desktop job site jobs app. And the reason I say that because in desktop job sites, job sites, there is another urls.py. You don't want to confuse it with your desktop job site jobs app urls.py that you're creating now. And we have created that. And what are we going to put in there? To get that information, we're going to go to the official Django documentation right here on this web page, writing your first Django app, part one. And we're going to scroll about halfway down, and we're going to see write in your first view, pose slash views.py. We're going to copy that. I'm sorry. <laughs> we're going to copy this pose slash urls.py. And we're going to make sure that we copy this and not the my site slash urls.py. So once we have that, I'm going to paste this into our newly created urls.py. I'm going to change this to views.home because in our views, we want to call this home function right here that we import from views. And I'm going to change this name to home, although this could be anything that you want. But let's call it home to keep it the same as what we call the function. With that being done, we want to immediately open our job site, job site urls.py. And in line number 16, we want to add this include import. And then I'm going to copy this line and then paste it right here. I'm going to erase the admin and the forward slash, erase this right here, and write include. I'm going to call this function and pass it a string that represents jobs underscore sites dot urls to tell it that we want to include the URLs. I'm sorry, it should be jobs app to tell it that we want to include the URLs found inside of our jobs app app. So after that, I'm saving. I'm continually hitting control S, by the way, to save. You can tell if it's unsaved, here is gray. If it's saved, then it is no longer gray. That is if you're using Sublime. So now that that is saved, we want to go to settings.py, and then on line 37, in installed apps, I'm going to install our jobs app. And then I'm going to go back to my terminal and run python manage.py run server. This is going to open a, Py, uh, develop, a Django development server. We can open the link here and we will see we've successfully rendered our first template. Now you're going to wonder, hold on, Kalu, why does our template not look as beautiful as this template? That's because Django still does not know about our static files. We only got that index.html file 
And really what a web page is made out of is the HTML file and maybe many others and a whole bunch of other static files like JavaScript, CSS, and these make up the styling, the behavior, and just the coolness of a website. So we still need to get those things, the images and things like that. But we've done a great job so far. In the next video, we're gonna go ahead and grab our static content. Good job. Do this tutorial five times. Just repeat it five times. Make sure you can do this in your sleep because once you have this part, memorized and just automated you'll be able to go really far all right see you guys in the next video